What's up YouTube? I'm coming to bring you a video about turning your LG OLED into an Alienware Ultrawide because I've been playing on the 42 inch LG C2 for about a couple weeks now and it was just too much to be playing, like too much to keep track of when you're trying to play on like such a big screen. So I found out a way to make it an ultra wide so you can get the 120 FPS at all times and then it's still gonna be 38 by 40 by 1600 so the first thing you got to do to make it do that is you got to go into the Nvidia control panel so you're gonna bring up the Nvidia control panel in here and then you're gonna have to go in and adjust the the resolution here so you're probably not gonna have the resolution that you need in here so you're gonna have to make a custom resolution. So you're gonna bring it up, and I already got my two resolutions here. So this is the Alienware one, that's the around the 34 inch, and then this is the 38 inch, that's more of a 4K for your LG C2. So you're gonna create the custom resolution, and you're gonna do 38 by 40 by, and you're gonna change this number right here to 1600. So I already got mine set, so I'm not gonna change anything. I can just go into my settings after I set it up here. But the one thing that you wanna make sure you do, it took me a second because every time I'm playing my games and I could only play in windowed mode on the widescreen, it always bring it up full screen. So you'll have to make sure that you go to the desktop size and resolution and make sure, make sure you click the override the scaling mode set by games and programs. So when you are in a game and you go to full screen, it's not gonna bring up the whole entire TV. So I'll have to show you what I'm talking about. So now, once you got the resolution, you can just go in here into your Windows settings and then just change it to 3840 by 1600. And the second you do that, you'll be able to keep your changes. And now you have, and make sure it's 120 FPS and whatnot. You can go into your settings on the TV and whatnot. But so now that you're in here and you want to bring up a game, it'll bring it up and it'll be just like the Alienware ultra wide 4k. So I got my 1440p monitor here and they're kind of around the same size, a little bit bigger, but I found this resolution to be the best resolution. So now if I do bring up a game, let's say I want to play, Apex Legends, and I got it in full screen. You're also gonna have the unlocked FPS too. So, cause like I could only play it in Windows mode and I was getting 120 FPS, but when you're in full screen mode, you get the unlimited FPS. So I'm gonna bring it up and you can see that I got the black bars around here. Once it loads it up. And you can see that it's just a lot less a lot less TV to look at. So it's like if you're playing a lot of FPS games, it's really hard to keep track of everything that's going on. And if you have this, you can see here up in the corner. And you'll also get more FPS because you got less less pixels to like give you a like worse frame rate and whatnot. Playing an actual 4K on the LG C1. I'm getting around like 178 FPS with my 3080. And normally if I'm playing in 4K, and it looks amazing. Like in the videos here, and I got full screen, native resolution 21 by 9, and then the 38 by 40 by 1600. So like any game you bring up, now since you did do that check mark in the beginning, you'll be able to, you'll be able to get the native resolution, and you'll be able to play it in full screen. You don't have to play it in border or anything like that. So now it'll be silky smooth, you know, and if you can get the 120 FPS, you know, in 4K, you know, and you got like a 3090 or something and you want the bigger, bigger screen. But it's easy once you get this set up to just switch back too. If you want to kick back on the couch, you know, watch some TV, you can just switch it right back. Switch it right back here. And like now you're back to full screen and whatnot. So you got the best of both worlds, you know, because like I was contemplating buying, you know, getting rid of this just because it was too much. 
it was just too much to keep track of. But now I got this in, and it looks amazing. It's like now I can switch back and forth anytime I want, you know, to play on an ultra wide. So yeah, that about wraps it up. If you want to, you know, turn your LG OLED C2 into an Alienware, you know, ultra wide. So there you go.